if you are a member of Enjoying Art, now you can come to our learning center to view the full video. When you come to enjoyingart.com goodies, you can download the references that are used in the latest lessons. Now I'm going to start from a little composition and drawing. So I'm just going to make some really light color. Yeah, any color is okay. I'm going to take a look at where it's going to be the face. Just use the hand so you know that this is going to be the back, right? This will be the front. I don't want to have it bumping into the edge too close. So now on this side and the chin would be here. I'm making sure that the chin would be here and then have enough room for the front of the clothes here. Now on the back over here could be all the way coming here on the back of the head. Okay, like that. And then take a look and the whole directions over here, the face, the chin coming to the back of the head is about this kind of shape. And I want to challenge some of our members just drawing with the brush to see how it's going to come out. It's just all about fears. It's not about that pencil would give you more safety. Okay, here. Okay, so this is the spaces for the face. I'm going to put the other elements also in here. Okay, like that to see how the big motion it looked like. Okay, this is the the front of the coat. Like that. That's good. And the water is going to drive like a matter of a couple minutes. So no worry too much about that. Okay. And that probably be good, but you can also change anything if you want, if you want. Okay. Like that. There you go. Maybe come out a little bit. That little bit color coming out over here. And maybe change the angle a little bit like that. That's pretty good. Now do a little study on the face. Now I'm going to come back with a little light brown color. And take a look. This is look like a triangle. And we confirm this is very much right. This is the location we're going to keep. And now I'm going to put the location of the um, jaw area. Like that. Here you go. That's good. And then the ear would connect to the jaw area right over here like that. That's good. And then now come over here within this triangle and I'm going to draw a little shape coming down over here like that and following and following the big movement. Okay. Right on the face here like that. So the nose, it will be sitting about here. The tip of the nose is half from here to the chin. But the bottom of the nose is just a little bit lower than that. So let's put that location. This is the have the shadow at the bottom of the nose. Now let's put that over here. That's the nose. Could be a little bit wider. Moved out a little bit. And that's good. Now we're going to take a look at the mouth. The mouth also about the bottom of the the lower lip is very much halfway from the nose to the chin. So the upper lip, it will be like here. Okay, here we go. Like that. And then the lower lip about here. Let's just shade it. Okay. And that's good. And try to create a good enough impression for yourself. And let's see. So we can actually do a little bit of uh, shading. And after we take care of the location of the eye, the eye looks like a little bit over here, look like this angle from the nose uh, going to the eye, right? It's about here. That is the angular measurement, okay? If you focus on something and you're looking for it, try to find it and is you will be able to find it. Maybe it take a little bit time, but if you are really looking for it, it will, it will be there. 
fundamental. I'm going to just shade it right here. You see that? And at the end, this is going to be much, much darker. Okay. Just want to shade it a little bit on the nose. And I'm going to give a little bit red color on the lip over here. There you go. Like that. And the lower lip ended here. Okay. Like this. Now I'm gonna use the water, soften the edge a little bit. Okay, just give a, a little bit indication. Okay, I'm gonna mix the brown color. And maybe you're looking for, where's the brown color? Okay, the brown color within all the three color together. Okay, that's the brown color. Maybe a little bit red. Okay, that is the brown. And you can see that I'm gonna put the brown color over here. You see that? That's the brown, right? No doubt. Okay. If you in the brown, you can have a little bit, a little bit more red, a little bit more blue, and also in the E over here, I'm gonna put a little brown color just for now, a little bit indication, as a reminder, a little brown color inside the E over here. There you go. And then on this side, there you go. Like that. Shade it, the entire thing as a little brown. I also shade a little bit brown color over here too. Okay, that's a little shadow. Okay, just clean the brush, just use the water. Like that. This is good. That's the beginning. Have a little bit brown. How about shade it over here? See that? That's a little brown. And the corner of the eye over here looking for the um, form, the transition. Okay, a little bit over here and put a little bit brown color over there as well. Okay, I haven't introduced my paper. This is the Arches Co-Press 140 pen. Every paper would be delivered slightly a little bit different uh, result. I'm gonna put a very yellow color I, most of the time I don't put a very bright color in the background, but in this case, we're going to try it. Maybe a little bit warmer. Maybe not really totally flat and maybe just put the color like that. There you go. That's good. And we also use the wet into wet to create some soft edges. Okay, here we go. Let's continue. Coming to the front over here. There you go. And we probably also gonna give a little bit texture. Here you go, that's good. Now we by Using the background, create a contrast for the nose. Take a look. That's good. And coming down over here, take a look. That's good. Like that. Now I'm going to working on the colors on the coat. I'm going to take a little bit red and a little bit blue. Now this is the brown color, light brown color, some yellow, here we go, a little bit red. Okay, that's good, right here. Here you go, look before we paint, just use the corner. Okay, that's good. Here we go, like that, and going on this side, a little bit shape and then a little shape over here okay that's good now coming over here up, up looking for just a bigger shape on this side that's good i know some of the things may be uh, developing and may not be in the direction that you like but don't 
stop whatever you are doing and come back to do that a little bit later. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to take a look at the head. Let's take a look at what color I'm going to use. It looks like I'm going to use the uh, blue red shade first. I'm going to take this color right over here. That's good. Yeah, the background is not totally dry. So I expect something, some color is going to softly going into the background as it started drying and developing with the surrounding. That's good. I'm going to have some color coming up over here. And here you go. And the bottom, it will be a little bit darker. Okay. Just put that color like this first. And then I'm going to put the color, the same color on the top over here. Here you go. Like that. Hi. I'm going to come to the top over here. I'm going to start change my brush to a little bit smaller brush. Okay. And that's good. And I'm going to start use the calligraphy brush and continue. Okay. Now let's see. And the bottom I maybe put the color on the top over here first and have a little bit greenish color. So we'll start with the green shade of blue color. And maybe have a little bit brownish color so it make it a little bit great. So I'm gonna take the little red and a little yellow. Okay, that's probably okay. Now start from the top over here. Here you go. That's good. If you have any difficulty about mixing colors, it just follow the video, do it a couple of times of exercise and you can get it. Now at this point, it's very, very important to create, uh, deliver the, um, the value change. It's very important. It's a dark and light area to create a shape. Now on the top over here, I'm going to continue with this blue color. That's for the top. Here you go. So you can see a little shape on the top. Coming down and we're going to mix a little darker color. And then we're going to create also the darker shape for the cloth. And we're going to come back to the face after we finish the details, uh, finish the overall shading. And the bottom over here, you watch it that, that the accumulate wet is going to coming back. So you want to leave it up, pay, pay attention to the bottom. Okay, now I'm gonna have some darker color and take the red with the Windsor blue green shade. You're making the colors very, very dark and a little bit more blue. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take this color and put it right here. That's the shadow side. Before you're looking for the details, looking for the value, looking for the form and the contrast. Like that, that's good. A little bit over here too. That's good. Now over here. Now on this side. Okay. Keep paying attention to the value. Don't let the detail overwhelm you. Just think about, again, make it a little bit lower. And then coming here. Okay, there's the bottom over here coming down. That's good. Coming a little bit lower, right over there. Connect that over here. Okay, that's good. Now the back of the ear, now coming over here also and come in a little bit down. Now we're looking for a little bit more on the back over here. Here you go. Now we're going to start add a little shape over here like that. 
little form. Okay, a few lines over here like that. And here you go, a little bit form over here. And at the bottom over here. Now, here we go. Now, a little bit darker right over here. Like that, that's good. Wrap around the ear. All right. You don't have to make it exactly look like what it is. You can make changes, but the form is very important. When you want to keep the form. Like that. The bigger shape is what you need to take care of at the beginning. Okay. Now the color gets drier and drier. That's good. Now I'm coming back over here. I take a look at the face. You have to come in, in a little bit. Okay. That's good. Okay. Take a look at that and things are coming down even more. Okay, and coming up over here. Now turn around and take a look at the forehead. And coming over here, the forehead. Here you go. Coming down over here. Here you go. Like that. Okay, make it a little bit thicker, the bottom over here, that's good. Okay, now I'm going to give a little bit uh, Windsor Blue Red shade in the top over here. Now add that back over here, that looks pretty good. Now look at the head is finished. Now, okay, now at this point, I'm going to continue developing into the face. Expect the back over here behind the ear. We need to make sure we're getting that soft transition from the dark to a little bit lighter. So I'm going to take the yellow, just get the brown color. Now, here we go. I'm going to get this color and now. Connect that over here. Now from dark, I'm going to turn into a little bit lighter. Now here we go. Now the back of the ear, right over there. That's good. Like that. And look at that, the ear over here, like that. That looks good. And also a little bit darker color over here. Why is it still a little wet? We can connect that together much, much easier. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to have a little bit brown color. Just put it in, shaping it, this whole area. And also I have a little bit line on the side over here. Now you can see how important to take care of the big area. Don't get into it too small, uh, too early. And we're gonna do a little reorganize of the shape of the face. Now, I think it's a good time. We're going to start working into uh, the also the shadow area. So right under here, and make that the contrast between the head and the face get a little bit softer. Okay, that's good. Now, all right. Now I'm going to start adding the skin tone. I'm going to just get the red color. Mostly the skin tone is just red in the light area. So I'm going to use this connector in here. And the top, I'm not going to touch it. It's a little wet. Okay, here we go. Now, this is the skin tone. And Pay attention to the top over here. This area is pretty light. So you don't want to touch into that. And But on the cheek over here, star, and get a little bit color, a little bit shaded. Now, that's just good. So I want to keep that area to be more exclusive, a little bit lighter. And now I'm going to continue and take a little 
a little bit red color. Continue a little bit darker over here. Now here you go. Using wet into wet. Continue down over here. And also the ear, we can have a little bit more red. A little bit more red than this in the ear. So we're going to come back to the ear a little bit later. I'm going to make this a little bit softer and merge into this color. Okay, that's good. Like that. Now take a look at the cheek area. I'm gonna have even just red. I'm gonna get a little bit more exclusive. A little bit just red, right in here. Can you see that? Right in here, more red. And even more red over here too. Okay, like this. Okay. And now, coming to the chin. Here we go. Now coming over here. Now take a look at the lower lip of the mouth. It's a little, little red color over here too. Ooh, that's good. Okay, we're gonna set the darker color on the upper lip a little bit later. Okay, take a look at the nose. And the nose over here, also a little, most a little the red. Uh, we're gonna have a little bit brown color and okay that's good now I'm gonna softly lead the color up here that's good we want to keep the light color to remain to be lighter now I'm going to just use the water a soft brush and I'm gonna soften this and don't worry we can come to do more changes and we can soften the color with the fly brush. Okay, now over here, a little bit light brown color. Take it from here. Now, right here. A little bit light brown color. Now, that's good. Like that. Okay, um, take a look at the bottom. We need to continue. Make some color even darker. I'm going to take the red and the blue color. And here you go. That get a little yellow. Here you go. That's just good. Now I'm gonna. This could be the last touch of this dark color. And take a look at now the bottom of the chin coming up like this. That's good. Now on this side, wrap around over here. That's the neck. That's a little darker color. Okay, all right. I'm gonna coming back over here. Okay, now it looks like I should have a little bit blue color. But before we go there, I'm gonna have a little bit lighter, the brown color. Connect that this area. You can see the shape connect into here. I'm gonna move the color up a little bit. Now they are connected right there. Now we're gonna have a little blue color, a little bit gray on the neck over here. Okay, that's good. All right. And we're gonna come back to see how it develop. I'm gonna come back to make more changes. But at this point, and we're gonna let the face uh, develop and get a little bit drier. And then we're gonna come back. Now let's take a look at there's some uh, blue color over here in the back over here. We're gonna set this color in. Here you go, right here. Even coming up like this, connect here. Here we go. Connect that color over here. And, and some blue color over here, we'll do that a little bit later. Now shade a little bit shadow area. It's like just the, almost the brown color and with a little red and for the coat. Like let's take a look over here, it has shadow. Okay, here we go. A little bit lighter like that. And coming over here, uh, take a look. 
and coming over. Here you go. Look, analyze it, just like we're doing drawings. Over here it has a little bit bigger shape. Always looking for the bigger shape before looking for a smaller shape. And there's how those work out. And that's good. A little bit soft over here, a little bit soft color over here. And here you go. A little detail, a little detail over there, and a little detail over here. And just use the, the brush itself. You can create transition over here like that. That's good. And I'm going to draw a little line for the seam coming over here. That's good. Like that. And we can add some darker color. And when it's wet, probably a good idea. Okay. Now I'm going to add some darker color. And which is the same as just the red color and the blue color together and it can create very dark color. Now let's take a look and over here we can have that little wet into wet. Okay, coming over here. Still see a little bit soft. Okay, that's good. And I'm gonna have it even darker. I'm gonna get a little bit more blue. Okay, here we go. Like this coming down. That's good. I'm gonna have a little button over here. Yeah, that's that's good for this area. Now we can come back to uh, take care of the very dark colors and the hoodie. Okay, here we go. So if we do that earlier, it may not be work, working because they will be too wet. So you have to, you have to leave it alone, do something else and come back over here a little bit later. And I think this is ready. So I'm going to come back here to use some Windsor Blue red shade. A little bit more, like right here. Okay. That's good. And also a little bit blue color over here too. That's good enough. Okay, now I'm going to use the same color. Give a little details here. That's good. I'm going to give a little bit uh, color pattern. Now I'm going to just take the Windsor Blue red shade and just draw a little pattern over here. Here you go. Just shape. Like that. Okay, a little shape on the edge over here. Okay, a little line coming up. Like that. That's good. Now I'm going to start walking into the face. Set a little bit brown color. There's just the brown and the outside of the eye over here. Okay, that's good. A little bit brown over there. And over here, there's a little very soft eyebrow. That's good. I'm going to soften there a little bit later. Now under the nose, now I'm going to have a little bit, a little bit warmer. And over here. Okay, that's good. A little bit brown on the corner of the nose. Right over here. That's good. And take a look at the mouth. A little bit darker, darker brown red color. I'm gonna get a little bit red. Here you go, like this. A little bit blue. Okay, that's good. Now I'll take a look here. That's simple shape. Okay, now I'm gonna have a little bit more red. That's good. Now I'm going to come in over here. The paper I'm using is only 10 by 7. So if I can do it with small, 
this small, you can do that with larger, and it will be easier. Okay, now I'm gonna use the just the water. Now I'm gonna extend this coming up here. That's good. And extend it a little bit more. Expand it right here, like that. That's good. Now, down over here, lead the little red color coming here. That's good, like that. And then, down over here, I have a little bit red showing the, the, the end, the bottom of the, uh, the lower lip. And then, the corner over here, That's good. Now, I'm going to come back to do a little bit more to the mouth. And now we can come back to the nose and give a little bit darker brown color for the nostril. Yeah, take a look. A little bit more red. Okay, that's good. Right here. Like that. Maybe that's a little bit too much. Now I'm going to shrink the size right here. A little bit too much in the shape. Take it out. That's good. Yeah. The top over here can be a little bit softer, the edge. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to take a look at the corner of the mouth. Just a little very, very soft color. Not a lot. Just a little bit like that. Here you go. Now I'm going to use the, just the brush and lead it. Okay, that's very little suggestion, but you can do a lot to help. Okay, over here. Detail, looking for the details. Okay, that's good. That's good. And then take a look at the eye. Now it's ready. I'm gonna eyebrow, so I'm gonna make it a little bit softer over here. And coming over here a little bit softer. Now take a look at inside the eye. Now first, we're gonna set a little bit blue color and inside the eye white. Okay, take a little blue color. Here you go. That's good. Take care of the whole area and then we can go a little bit more specific. And take a look inside the eye over there, have a little bit gray, blue gray color. Take this color, have this a little blue, that's perfect. Okay, take a look at that. And we're gonna leave the eye white. No, leave the highlight, okay, right here. Okay, a little bit in here. There you go. Okay, take a look at the inside over here. This is easy to do. And the top over there. The top over here have a little bit more brown color. Now I'm gonna a little bit red and brown. Okay, take a look over here. Set. That's good, like that. Looking for a shape and what color, how dark is that shape? Okay, that's good. And almost there. Now I'm gonna have that a little bit, um, this kind of warmer color. Star coming down. A little bit warm color coming down from the top over here. This area. Need to soften that. Like this. That's good. Now on the edge over here, and use that color coming over here too. 
So we still see a lot of highlight, the pretty nice. So I'm going to get a little bit, those a little bit gray color for suggesting and the edge over here, they catch the shadow. Okay, right over here. And I'm going to have also suggest a little eyelashes. Okay, very small. Okay, here you go. A little bit softer, like that. Okay, now after you drive, I'm going to come back to add a little um, their pupil. Now, now I'm going to move that the iris a little bit lower. That's good. Like that slowly, a little bit lower. And the corner of the eye right over here. Okay, that's good. 